I can't even tell you guys. I can't even explain to you guys how excited I am right now. Like, I just can't even, like, fathom this. I'm always so excited every time I get one of these boxes. But before I get into that, hi, honey, this is your queen bee. I am just excited and just happy. Oh, my God. I love Influencer. And just before I get started and telling you guys all the amazing stuff that I just got, I do want to, like, do a little disclaimer. This is not sponsored, technically. Um, I did get these, um, <laughs> I did get these items free complimentary from Influencer. And I mean, I was one of, um, I, I tried counting it up. I think there was only like 20 or 30 of us that actually got to have this box. And it is just amazing. Now today is Friday, um, January 10th. And I mean, a lot has happened today just already and it's like hardly even 10. Um, I know I'm getting my makeup done a little bit later than I normally do, but it's just because I've been like trying to prep for this and like mentally prepare for what I'm gonna say. And I haven't opened any of this stuff and I'm just like so excited, oh my God. So, okay. Before I like get too worked up and too excited, I went to Sephora the other day. I posted that video, it'll be Friday. Haven't edited it, but I know I'm gonna get it up today, which for you guys is Friday, which for when you see this video is gonna be Monday. I know we can suck, but yes. Um, I went to Sephora and my mom pointed out, hey, that thing that you're doing, um, it's at Sephora, and they have like a little clearance thingy, um, just like kind of uh you know, like covered up and it said bite on it and it was like, you know, new launches. And I was like, oh my God, like I can't wait until I get my package. And I got my package yesterday, which was on Thursday. I'm out of breath, I know. And I just was like, oh my God, schooling to my boyfriend. And he was just like, okay, calm down. I'm like, you don't know how like excited I am because <laughs> it just launched today. And I got this box yesterday and I really wanted to try it yesterday. I really wanted to get this video out so sooner, but Obviously, my posts are going to be up already, um, like on Friday, um, so go check those out if you haven't already. It'll be on Instagram and Twitter, um, and I don't know what else, <laughs> but yes, I posted this on my story um, on Thursday, uh, and I posted a, a picture on Thursday of my little Vox Box thing. I'll put that up there, um, but yes. I love Vox boxes so much. I love influencers so much. I've never heard of this brand until the Marshalls in my um, town over next to me. Um, they got a, what is it, like a beauty things. And I always go there and I always check. And um, me and my friend went there. And every time I go, I always see like bites and it's always lip products. I don't buy a lot of lip products because I have way too many. And my lips are always so chapped. They got a little bit better. I mean, they're not in the best health, but that is fine. This is um, their first ever launch of like face items, like um, foundation, um, I got a setting powder and a uh, primer, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, and then a new lip crayon. I don't know if they normally do lip crayons or not, but yes, these are all four new products. I think um, maybe the lip crayon is not. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the box and read the card and then just try to calm down to where I can actually like do what I'm supposed to do. So the box is always is so gorgeous. I'm just gonna like move this thing out of the way. I have them in order a little bit. You guys can't really tell. Here is the box, so cute. It's got this little thing that tells you what's in it. So I'm assuming these are the only three new products and the lipstick is maybe not, or lip crayon, whatever it is. So you got the primer, the um, foundation, and the pressed powder, uh, which is like a setting powder. And um, yeah, so it says clean at Sephora. I kind of love hate Sephora because it's so expensive. I don't know how much these would be. I'm gonna look it up and I will put like the prices next to it. Again, I got all these free, complimentary, and I mean, so cute. I'm like choking. So let me just take all the things out and just show you the box because the box as always is so gorgeous. And it's got blueberries on it. My mom pointed that out. I don't know what that means. Like maybe it's just like, you know, infused with like blueberries or something. Um, but yeah, box is super cute. Probably gonna keep it um, for something or rather, I don't know, I can always use boxes. So that's the box and then it comes with this little paper. Most of them come with a tiny paper that's just like a front and back. This is like a whole packet, like look at that. So the first thing that says is obviously Bite Beauty. Meet the new face of Clean Influencer. So it's got like these pretty little ladies on here looking gorgeous. And then it's got the same thing that is on the box. And then the next little page is um, just like a description of like everything. So this is the Change Maker Complexion System. 
and it is obviously new. It is coming out today, which is 1.10. It's Friday the 10th. And um, obviously this video is not coming out until Monday. But yes, um, it is New Face of Clean. So it's got the primer and it says it's for dry and oily skin. And then it's got the um, minuscule, mi minuscule, I can never pronounce this word. <laughs> I'm also dying because it's so worked up and I'm just so happy. But anyways, foundation with minerals and um, it's supposed to mimic the skin texture for a natural finish and buildable medium coverage. And it has 32 shades. That's a lot. Um, I don't know how many normally uh, Maybelline has. I think maybe like 30 or something. Um, so maybe close to that. It They never really have a lot in stores, but I feel like they are going to have it a lot like in Sephora, like in display. But you can kind of see the shades up here. I don't know exactly which one I have. It's somewhere hopefully over here because I'm very, very pasty. And I mean, yeah. Um, but looking at it, I'm just going to try to find the foundation. This shade is a little bit concerning. Probably use it for the summer, but I'm going to try today. I have not swatched any of these yet. I haven't even opened the boxes. I'm just like so excited. Okay, so then it has the Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder. And it's got volcanic minerals, not talcic, and it bur blurs. Oh my god. I'm sorry guys, I'm just like so excited. It blurs, controls, shine, and mattifies. So it's a little bit of best of both worlds for everyone. I have very oily and red skin texture. Um, and that's pretty much it. So then um, the back of that is the new, okay, so it is new, Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon. So it's got 20 shades and this is all clean makeup. Um, I do try to use more of like better stuff for your skin because my skin is not very sensitive, but I do try to keep it fairly healthy. Like I have nothing on right now. I just washed my face and that was it. And yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like um, put my little bit of face oil on, put my hair back, and we are going to jump into the first item. So I just did um, just exactly what I do every time I normally do my makeup. So I just used this Elmas face oil and then this Hard Candy um, Fix It Serum because I do have a red tongue. My dog's trying to get in here. And then, um, so the next product, the new product, is the primer. So the primer, I haven't even opened this box yet. It is the Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer. And it says, um, let's see. Oh, uh, anything else? Okay. So the direction says smooth evenly over face for best results. Use with the Change Maker Foundation and Pressed Powder. Obviously, we're going to do that. And that's pretty much all it says. Yeah. So it says vegan, gluten free, clean, obviously. Um, it says normal to oily skin. And yeah, so we're going to open this up and oops. ooh, okay, so this is really cute. So yeah, and you don't really see, there's not much on the back, there's not much on the front. This is their first, um, and I'll correct it if it's wrong, um, I do believe this is their first ever primer they've ever made, um, I will fact check that later. So. I'm going to open the little seal. I always have trouble with these things. Okay, and then I'm gonna smell it, so. I don't smell anything yet. Okay, it doesn't have a smell. So here is the first little dollop. Ooh, okay, so that looks a little thick. So. I thought it maybe have like a hint of like blueberries or something, but it doesn't. Or maybe I'm just like not smelling it right. So it feels like really nice. It feels like um I don't even like kind of like a lotion, but not as thick as one. It's like kind of melts on your hands and like on your skin. Um, yeah, I can't remember the last time I used just a normal primer that hasn't been like color tinted. Um, so I'm not really sure 
it kind of feels like the Smashbox one, and I think about it. It's like, um, kind, not like silicone, but it feels like really smoothing, and like it's gonna blur some of the stuff I have. Okay, so, so far, I like it. It feels just like a normal primer. It doesn't feel crazy, doesn't feel cheap. It feels really nice and high quality. So, okay, I'm going to wash my hands, I'm gonna do my concealer, and then I'll be back with the foundation. So I was debating on whether or not I wanted to do my um, concealer underneath or over, and normally for powdered foundation, I do it underneath, but since this is a liquid foundation, I will do it over, just because I don't want, I want to see what the color is, and I don't want to like compromise it anyway, and I don't know exactly how that would work out, um, because I, I don't really normally put concealer under a liquid foundation. So we're just gonna do it simply how I normally do it. So the next item is the Bite um, foundation. And this is in the shade L15. So I'm assuming that's a light 15. And it just says the directions is massage well. And yeah, that's really it. Just massage well into your face. And that's all. So it says, um, formulas, okay, so medium coverage is what it says, and again, it just says vegan, gluten-free, mm, that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to open this up, and it's a cute little tube, just like the other one, and it is about the same packaging, doesn't really have anything on the back, it does have a little sticker that says L15, which is nice. I kind of would rather it be, because it looks like it should be right here, if you guys can see that. If maybe it was there. I don't know. I guess you can lose the cap easily. So we're just going to try this. Hopefully it's the right color. Um, sometimes they oxidize and change it a little bit. I'm just hoping that it's right. Um, the powdered foundation says so it's light 2. This is a light 15. So I don't know how well that's going to look, um, but they're the experts. They sent it to me, so hopefully um, it's right. So I got to open the little thingy again. Because if it's too dark and it's good, I'll probably just use it in the summer for my summer foundation. This doesn't have a smell either. I'm going to shake it up a little bit. I don't think I did that. So, so far, I mean feels nice on my face. It feels like I really don't have anything at all. I do have, I feel like I have like a little piece of my hair like hanging off and it's kind of bothering me, but I don't know. So I shook it up and we're just going to see how this looks. Okay, it's actually a little bit lighter than I thought it'd be. So we'll just put a little bit, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna use my sponge, cause I always use my sponge. Um, I don't use like brushes for liquid foundation because it kind of tears up my face. So here we go, I got a damp sponge. Okay, this is like extremely light coverage. It kind of feels like a BB cream like it's it's like a tinted moisturizer is what it feels like it literally looks like i didn't put any of it on so we're just gonna see how buildable this is um because it looks like i didn't put any of it on and you guys seen i put like a nice size dollop on each part of my face I mean, in the mirror it looks great, but I do have a lot of redness, and I don't know how well this would work for other people. So let's just try. Okay, so it's very lightweight. On the paper, it said it was medium. I'm pretty sure it's medium, right? So this is medium coverage, um, very lightweight. 
It literally feels like I'm doing nothing but putting a damp sponge on my face. So... What I'm thinking... Oh, okay. So what I'm thinking is I'm not going to use a concealer today because, um, and even though it, I probably really need to because you can still see like a little bit of the darkness under my eyes, um, and that's like not Gucci, um, and you can kind of see the creases where it won't kind of blend into them. Um... So I'm not going to do a concealer because I want to see how this plays out. I don't want to see if it kind of runs where some foundations do. Okay. Looking at my mirror behind the camera, it looks like it matches completely perfect. Like, um, on, the, on the camera it actually looks like it matches a little bit perfect. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to do a concealer. I feel like that would kind of take away from what I'm doing trying to test it out. It's very, very lightweight. It feels like I have nothing on my face. Same with the primer. It, excuse me, it um, says like medium coverage. Sorry, some technical difficulties with my camera. Um, so what I was saying was it feels very like lightweight. It doesn't feel like I have anything on. Um, it says medium coverage, but it's very light coverage, which Honestly, like looking at it, I have a lot of freckles and I have to always like redraw all my freckles like with that little freckle pen I use from Lime and Crime. This doesn't really hide those and I like that because I don't like hiding my freckles. Um, and honestly, like this is like a nice, like maybe if you don't, if you're not really into makeup and you just want to like try to do like a little bit um, and a BB cream is not really your thing, this would probably be like a good starter kit for someone if they don't know how to use makeup very well and they don't want to really mess up or make it look like they have makeup on. Maybe just like a good starter. And I feel like that's what this brand is going for since it's kind of like their first like product that they really produce like this. So I don't actually hate this. I feel like it's really good. It would be a nice like winter foundation. And that's pretty much it. Now it doesn't really hide any of like my dark like under eye or like the creases of my nose. Um, and like I have a crease up here where I like kind of wrinkle my forehead a little bit. But okay, I'm just gonna like, I like it so far. That might change later. I'm going to do an update. So far, I like it. It says medium, not really true to that. Um, that's a little bit what's kind of bugging me. But we're just going to move past that because it really doesn't matter. So I'm not going to do a concealer um, because I feel like that would be a little bit unfair. So concealer today, no. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and set this. We're going to do the setting powder. And at first I thought this was maybe like a powdered foundation. And I was really excited. But it is um, a pressed powder. like, And it says flexible coverage. So I don't know what that means, um, like, I don't know. It says you can build the coverage, so flexible, I guess it could like vary. So it is in the shade light too. Oh, okay, so this is like a little different. Um, put that there. So the sponge is actually like not inside of it. All of us got like a cute little, I don't really use these sponges, I'm not gonna use the sponge, um, I feel like that kind of swayed my opinion too badly, but this is a little, I've got a little sticky spot. That's cool, that's, that's fine. Um, that's cool. So it's got the light two change maker, flexible, blah, 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 all that stuff. And then it's like a nice, this is a cute little package. So opening it up, doesn't have a smell. It's got a cute little mirror. I don't know if I like how deep, oh, okay. I guess it's that deep because you have to put the sponge in there. Makes sense. Okay, never mind. So, looks pretty much like it would fit. 
I'm going to get my brush and we're gonna go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna go ahead and try this powder. Um, I cleaned my brush off the best I could. I didn't want to like re-clean it with the stuff just because um, that would take too long to dry. And I mean, yeah, so I don't think this is gonna come off. It hasn't been coming off on my hand. So it's just there, it's fine. We're just going to ignore it and try to see how well this works. So I use a powder all over whenever I do a whenever I do a liquid foundation, just because I wanna make sure it's set right and that it's like um, going to hold on the day. So we're just gonna do that. Trying to like figure out how to hold things without dropping anything. Okay, well, it doesn't look any too different. So I think that the powder like really helps complement the foundation. It looks pretty much similar on camera and on the mirror. The powder does make it look a little bit, not darker, but a little bit more saturated, if that makes sense. Um, you can kind of tell there's a little bit of a difference but I'm also very pasty. So yeah, there's that. But so far the powder, it just works as a powder. Um, now to really tell if a product works, you do have to wear it the whole day. And that is what I'm gonna be doing with all this stuff. I'm not gonna be putting on another setting spray or another, another setting powder because I wanna make sure it actually like doesn't move the makeup and it actually works. So the primer is supposed to help that too, like just most generally primers help make the makeup stay on and look a little bit more um, natural and like pretty, um, just lack of better words. And the foundation obviously is to cover your face, make it kind of like a shield and kind of make it look more like skin. Obviously I have red underneath, but I did a primer, excuse me, a serum. So it's not like a primer, but it can act like a primer. Hopefully that doesn't affect it too much. I always do that with powdered foundation. So we're just gonna tell um, that way because I don't want to do just bare just this makeup because I do want to give it like a fighting chance, especially because if it's going to be like my regular rotation, I want to make sure it works with the products I have. I never do products without those two items. So if it can withstand that, I think it's better. So debating on whether or not I want to do like contour and blush and everything, I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to do like um, some eye makeup, just keep it really natural for today because this is like, this is like the product. I don't want to ruin anything. I don't want it to like look any different. If you're just going to be doing this and only this, like maybe if you're just starting out on makeup and this is what you want to like start in with, that is perfectly fine. I'm only going to do just this. I will do like the rest of my makeup off camera and tell you what I did but it's not gonna be too crazy. It's not gonna be anything that's like really any more face makeup. I'm not gonna do contour or a highlight or a um, blush or bronze or anything. I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and my eyes and then we will be going in with the last product which is a lip crayon. So there we go. So I just did some of my makeup. The makeup that I did was I did my eyebrows with this um, Benefits uh, precisely my brow pencil and I use this highlighter from the 123 cover girl kit and I just did a little bit underneath um, of like the of like the bridge of my eyebrow and then I use this Maybelline master prime for my eyeshadow and the eyeshadow I used was the Too Faced natural eyes and I just used um, three of the browns just like the nude the lighter brown and the darker brown just to kind of create a like <laughs> uh, natural effect, I guess. I'm like dropping everything. So then I use um, both of my Too Faced products, the uh, Better Than Sex mascara and eyeliner for my mascara and eyeliner. And then for my waterline, I use the Essence Nude Extreme Lasting Eyeliner Pen. And then for my lips, I use the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme and the Too Faced Lip Insurance Original Lip Primer. So the last product that I'm gonna be doing for this video This is the Bite 
um, Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon. And I will do a little bit of research. I think this is your first lip crayon. I know they have like lipsticks and I think lip glosses. Um, I've only ever seen a lipstick in stores at the Marshalls and that's pretty much it. Um, now with almost a final look, I can say that I actually really like these products. Um, so far it's kind of like just really natural looking. I didn't put on any highlighter, blush, or bronzer or contour just because I wanted to see what it looks like just throughout the day. So this is pretty natural look. It's pretty just like basic really. Um, so yeah, I think anyone can do this look. Pretty great product so far. So we're just going to open this up. It is in the shade, ooh, okay, non, no, Nino, no Nino, or, oh, on, on, wait, okay, I'm a little bit dyslexic. I don't know if it's supposed to be red, um, I don't know which way it's supposed to be red, but I'll just, um, Google it and then do a little voiceover thing. No Nino. I don't know. So we're just gonna open this up. This is really hard to get open for some reason. So it is, I can even get it open. Okay, so, ooh, this feels really weird. That's really weird. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, it's bite. I get it, it looks like a little bite mark out of it. That's cute, clever. So, this is the lip crayon, and it is in the shade No Nino, I think. Um, it's got some stuff on it though. So, ooh, okay. Really pretty. It looks like it's got some stuff. Some, I don't even know what that is. Okay, so. We're just going to try this on my lips. I like the shape of it. It's really nice, but I don't know if I would use this exact color like very often, but we're just gonna see how well it lasts throughout the day. Actually, I do like the color. Uh, I thought it'd be a little bit dark, but it actually looks good with this outfit anyways. So I'm going to like clean this up, but First impressions, it is like pretty easy to apply. It feels very hydrating. It like has a good color to it. It doesn't really show my like lip wrinkles, but I think that's also because of the primer I have on. But it does feel like it's going to like move around like throughout the day. I don't know how easy it's gonna to be to clean like the edges, but I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll like report back. So I just tried cleaning it up a little bit. I actually think this is like really nice. It's like really hydrating feeling. Like it's kind of matte. It's not real glossy. And it's just kind of like, it looks natural. Like it looks pretty natural. I know it's weird. But anyways, so I'm going to say like my honest opinion um, later in the day, I'm just gonna wear this stuff through and just see like how well it works. So I'm gonna go like edit some videos, eat and like a bunch of stuff done. So, yeah, go take some pictures. I'll put them up probably if I remember, I always forget to. But yeah, so far I do like all of these products. They're very natural looking. They feel very like clean and like really like, just like kind of not, I don't know if healthy is like the word for it, but good for your face. Like it feels very like natural. It doesn't feel like I have makeup caked on my face. It doesn't feel like I really have anything on. And normally whenever I have lipstick on, you guys can tell because like I talk really weird, but like this feels like, it doesn't feel like I really have anything on. Maybe just like a little bit of a chapstick. That's really what it feels like. It doesn't feel like I'm like, like really have anything on. Um, and I don't really feel like it's gonna like move too much but it might and that's fine because most lipsticks do this is a lip crayon um comparing it to like the maybelline ones i have though they're kind of similar to this this feels actually a little bit better it feels more hydrating it doesn't feel like a lipstick or like a lip crayon it feels more like like a lip tint but like a very broad bright lip tint so that's like number one in my book honestly. So I'm going to go get some stuff done and I'll be back with my um, final opinions. 
So I'm about to go to bed, but before I take my makeup off, I just wanted to tell you guys my final reviews on all these products. If you want to see the full reviews, you can go to Influencer and look at all of my little reviews I've done on these. Um, the description will be, the link will be in the description below. So first off, the primer pretty much just acted as a regular primer, kept on the makeup all day. Um, it is fairly shiny though. I don't know if it's a primer or the foundation's fault, um, but yeah very lightweight for the foundation, kind of smeared around my nose area, and you can kind of see the redness coming up a little bit, um, especially around like right here. I didn't put on blush today just because I wanted to see if it would do that and prove my theory right. The powder, I don't know, it said it was a setting powder, but it looks more like a tinted like setting powder or like especially like a powdered foundation. I'm not really sure about how I like this product. It's just kind of weird but it is their first one they've ever done. So it kind of works out, but again, very shiny up here and just kind of doesn't look like I have much on, which is fine, but not the best. And then the lip crayon, it just, you know, like lipstick, it just kind of came off. Um, it does have some of a tint to it still, but not much. It is a lot better quality than what the Maybelline one was. And I mean, that's all I really have to compare it to. So with all that being said, hopefully you guys liked this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a like, make sure you subscribe, and check out all the description below stuff, and comment if you are going to try this stuff and what you're most excited for. I think what I was most excited for was the foundation, but it's kind of a letdown. It says mild or medium coverage, but it's very, very light. It almost acts as a BB cream, and I'm not sure if I like that too well. But with all that being said, Thanks for stopping by. Love you.